lost in conversation It's so boring What about what? I hate her I don't agree I hate it first What's up you guys? I am back with a new video. It's your favorite Michaela, and today we're going to be finding out how to start a YouTube channel and what do you need. And also before we get into this video, I just want to say my opinions. Um and I'm gonna tell y'all my experience. Okay, y'all know I have 1k subscribers on YouTube. I got my 1k subscriber by sharing on different apps like just sharing my link and be like hey go subscribe da, 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 this and that. let me tell you the problems i ran into that a lot of people start to do okay a lot of people start out to say uh, i'm not gonna start my youtube channel i'm not gonna post no video until i get this many subscribers or this many subscribers let me tell y'all something the people that you don't know is your biggest supporter and I, I i hear this a lot and i don't know if you ever heard it but the people you don't know is your biggest supporter so with that being said you tell this person oh um when i get 50 subscribers i'm gonna start posting they not gonna do it they not gonna subscribe and you know why i'm telling y'all this because during my journey of sharing my link to everybody saying go subscribe to me go subscribe to me every question that i got back was is you gonna be consistent do you post how many videos do you got up the more the question that i got is so with that being said if you got one video up you're most likely probably not gonna get subscribed to even me when i go on youtube and I see you got one video up, and it was like five months ago, three months ago. I'm not finna watch you, cause you playing with my, you playing with my energy and my emotions at this point. Because I want somebody that's gonna be consistent. I want to keep seeing you, keep seeing you, keep seeing you. Um. Also, what I do want to say is, me personally, this is just my opinion. You most definitely don't have to do this. This is just something that I do. Uh, when I first started off with YouTube, I was not fancy. I was not fancy at all. I did not have no intro, no nothing. Um, honestly, I think the way to go is just start your YouTube. And if you don't really know how to edit, learn along the way. I want, me personally, in my channel, I want people to see my growth. In my editing, in my intros, and stuff like that. I want people to see my growth. So when I first started, I most definitely did not have no intro. I still don't have no camera. And let me tell y'all something about them cameras. Cameras are very expensive. And I can say, you can get subscribers just because you have a camera. But it's a lot of YouTubers I know grew up off their phone. They did not get no camera until they started getting paid on YouTube. So basically, I'm telling you this because you don't want to go all out your way and don't go nowhere. That's not going to do nothing but knock your companies all the way down to the bottom. Because you're like, okay, I went about a computer. Uh, I did all this and this and nobody's paying attention to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're doing all that and you ain't going to do nothing but knock your companies down. Um, another thing I want to say. It's all about consistently. Stay posting. Um, one thing I can say is the advice that I got gave was make your videos at least 10 minutes long. That's how you can get your watch hours up. That's how you can get um, get your views up. You know, that's how you get this stuff up, making your videos longer. And yeah, don't go do crazy stuff just to go viral because you might not even go viral. And one thing I can tell you is it take time. It take time. You got the, if you really want to make money off YouTube, it take time. It take time, y'all. Just be patient with it. But, yeah, be consistent, y'all. If y'all have YouTube channels and y'all want to drop, drop it down below, I will subscribe to y'all. But if y'all, if you're not an actor, I'm not subscribing to you. Sorry, not sorry. But if you're an active YouTuber that want more subscribers or whatever, and I'm not saying my subscribers gonna subscribe to you, cause hey, I mean, <laughs> cause baby, they barely watch me. If you wanna be real. But if y'all have a YouTube channel, I will most definitely subscribe to y'all. Just comment down below. Um, 
yeah, I'm into watching y'all grow on y'all channel, and I hope y'all watch me grow on my channel. But yeah, that's just a couple things that I wanted to say that I went through and what was my experience. Oh, one thing, let me just go ahead and clear this up before this video even get too far into it. When you hit 1K subscribers on YouTube, baby, you do not get paid. It's one of the recommendments to get paid, but if that's what you're working on, baby, you're not going to get paid. <laughs> you is not going to get paid. That's one thing I do want to say. Y'all, I forgot to mention, but the recommendments of YouTube is 1K subscribers. You have to have all your watch hours with YouTube tracker. You will see that on the um watch out is when people watch a video all the way through and you also would need um youtube shorts that's another way to get paid well that's what you need to get paid so yeah y'all will see that on the screenshot i'll put the screenshot of it up again so yeah let's go ahead and get into how to make your youtube channel so the first thing first, this this is everything that I use. Um, first thing first, YouTube tracker. YouTube tracker it shows you how to get monetized. As in, they show you your watch hours, your subscribers, and your regular views. I believe I don't know. I would have a screenshot on above, but yeah. The only thing with YouTube tracker. What your watch out was in your views if your views are going down on your channel as in if you're you post a video oh let me tell y'all something else another thing when you post videos and you don't post in a while your views are going to go down your views are going to stay at the same rate that's one thing i i did notice before so yeah um watch hours or from this is my uh what been told to me from another YouTuber that's already getting paid and stuff on YouTube. Your watch hours is when people watch your video full through and it's a long amount of video. See me, I made a mistake where I was posting short videos thinking I was gonna get more watch hours. No, no. I can get a million views. It, it, it's, it's not going to matter to nothing. Because if it's a two minute video. It, it counts. But it ain't going to count like you think it's going to count. Making a quick video. And also what I do want to say is. Y'all don't be scared to make long videos. Because if they going to watch it. They going to watch it. If they don't want to watch it. They not going to watch it. Because my YouTuber that I recently showed y'all. At the beginning of the video. Well I remade this video like 10 times. But it's a YouTuber that I always watch. And her videos are at least hour and 30 minutes or plus more. And I watch the full thing. Like, that's how good her videos is to me. So you actually have people that will watch videos. You have people that's going to skip to watch your videos. Everything. Oh yeah, if a person is skipping through your videos, maybe at this point, don't even count them as a view. Because you're not going to get no credit. If they just skipping through your video, they ain't gonna get, you ain't going to get no credit. So I'd say you're not going to get no credit, so... You might as well do what's gonna really benefit you and reach out different crowds and stuff. Cause your people, yeah, they be like, oh girl, I'ma watch your video, I'ma watch your video. Girl, they ain't gonna watch your video. And if they do, guess what they do? Fast, fast forward through it. If they see it's too long, they not even gonna click on it. They probably just gonna like and click on it and go on, out they, go on by their day. Let me tell y'all another thing. Likes and dislikes are... That ain't nothing, y'all. That's not nothing. Well, I can't say it do make you feel like you famous or whatever, because that's what it do for me. But likes are oh, most definitely nothing. You don't get paid off likes, y'all. You don't, you don't get paid off likes. So, yeah, that's that on it. But it show you your process of your watch hours and stuff like that. And one thing I can say, no watch hours can go down. But it's another app that you can watch and see your real watch hours. And then when your views go down on your channel, that's not going down to, you know, YouTube tracker. YouTube tracker, you can keep up with it. But at the same time, it go down when your views go down on your channel. So, yeah, we're going to get into that later on on the next 
so YouTube Studio, this is a real big one. Um, I did not know this YouTube Studio do all this when I first started YouTube. So, yeah, let's get into it. YouTube video, I mean YouTube Studio, they tell you if your views are going up and down on a video. As in, if you posting a video, it's gonna have an arrow going up. With, it's gonna be a green arrow going up and then they're gonna have a green check if it's like your views on point like it's stable and then they're gonna have a arrow going down so basically that tells you if people are watching your video or they not watching your video they're just clicking on your video clicking back out that's basically what they mean if your video if your views are going down that mean people are just clicking on it and clicking back out that's what they mean if it's going up, that means people is sitting down watching at least half of your video or watching the full video. Um, the check, green check, that just means you on point. Everybody's looking at it completely through. And, yeah. It's kind of crazy, y'all. It's kind of crazy. Just, just, just listen. It sound off the wall and stuff, but trust me. You know. Um... It also shows you your video separate. What I mean by that, if you go on YouTube, you will see, okay, for me, example, if I go to YouTube and see my video upload, I go to your library or whatever, and I click your videos, and it have my short videos and my video. You can separate it, but what I like about this is, when I say my videos, I mean my solid video, my videos I actually post, not my shorts my videos i actually post that's another thing i like about youtube studios and you yes you can see your your short videos but you have to click off of it when i go to my videos i want to see my solid videos that's just me and what i i prefer um also what i do want to say is youtube studios show you if you're uploading a video it show you the percentage that is actually uploaded I noticed like with YouTube, well my YouTube, when I'm uploading and I go to YouTube app, it be like, oh, three hours, three hour pass, your video still at the same link or whatever. So, yeah. And also, let me just throw this out there because I don't know if y'all have a question about that. But what do it mean when your video take forever to post? That means YouTube is reviewing it and seeing if it's age appropriate and we need to be younger or lower i mean younger or for older crowds and it's also looking for non-copyrighted music i mean copyrighted music my fault y'all copyrighted music copyrighted music is when the music is claimed by somebody else like if you go play a jay-z song on your video you're gonna get copyrighted also what i do want to say is copyrighted videos you do not get paid for so if your video is copyrighted you might well just go on ahead and delete off your channel because you're trying to get paid you ain't gonna get paid for that and also what i do want to say is copyrighted videos can get your youtube taken from youtube so you want to be mindful of that also um what else i have wrote down it also shows you your real watch hours what i mean by that if your views are going down on your youtube you will still have them saying watch our versus youtube tracker youtube tracking kind of play with your mind it will go down and then it will when your views go back up it will boost up to the the actual what where your views is actually at youtube tracker kind of play with your mind but one thing i like about youtube tracker is it shows you when can you get monetized like you'll be like okay you're ready to be monetized now you know what i'm saying that's the only thing i really like about it and yo Like I said, versus YouTube tracker, when your views go down on your channel, they go down too. And it's not really accurate, but it's accurate, if that makes sense. Okay, so editing tools. This is what I use, and I do all my editing on my phone. I use CapCut. I use CapCut to put music on my videos. I don't use CapCut regular music. That thing they have on there, no, I don't use that. But I use CapCut to put the sound over my, um, you know, over my videos. And I also use CapCut to put an overlay. 
Overlay is, you will see it in the app. Overlay is where, if y'all need a tutorial on how to use CapCup, I most definitely will show y'all. But, overlay is when you put a picture on the screen. Like, when you try to put a picture on the screen, you can do that on CapCut. That's another reason why I like CapCut. I try to use CapCut for all my videos. And, yeah. iMovie is another is another app. I only use iMovie when CapCut is, Cap, Cap is tripping. As in, I don't know if y'all noticed, but one of my videos was in a little square. And the rest of the stream was black. I'm going to put a strange shot up there with video I'm talking about. CapCut was tripping it in. It would not make me make a full video like this. So, when your cap cup is tripping like that that day, then you can go on iMovie and it like that. It will actually be a movie to be able to post on YouTube. Um, non-copyrighted music. Um, how to get non-copyrighted music on your videos is what you do. If you have an iPhone, Android, they say you can stream record on there, but I'm just going to speak for iPhone just, just because I don't have an Android. I don't know what y'all do. Because I know one girl said she automatically got a stream record on her Android. But as far as I know, y'all have to download an app. I don't know. I'm not talking about y'all. Don't bash me for that. I'm not talking about y'all. But how to get non-copyrighted music on y'all videos is you stream record it. And go in CapCut and put it over your video. And like I said, if y'all want a tutorial on doing that, just come in and I'll show y'all. Um... Yeah, stream code and post on your video and okay how do you get non-copyrighted music you just go on youtube and type non-copyrighted music and it will pop up they got all type of version whatever version that you went to or whatever you want on your channel that's all you have to do um one thing i can say is some of them are copyrighted because youtube do be changing their copyrights well, really, the artists and stuff, they do be claiming their music, like the slow version, the speed up version. You know, they be claiming their music when they notice it. So, with that being said, be mindful of that. Don't, yeah, be mindful of it. Um, also, what I do want to say is, if you want to know for sure your video is not going to be copyrighted, read the comments and see if somebody be like, my video is cop, um, your video is copyrighted or whatever. Read that video. Email, your email, your email, because you might not have Gmail. <laughs> your email is connected to your YouTube. Why? Because it lets you know when somebody log into your account. I'm not saying somebody is, but it lets you know when somebody log into your account. It also lets you know you stay more connected than what YouTube do. Like, I don't know how everybody iPhone is, but you know, you get late notifications on a lot of stuff. So, with that being said, like, um, for example, so if you come in on somebody's video and they heart your stuff or come in back to you, YouTube, that might not come directly to your phone before it's your Gmail, um, I mean your email, it will come directly to your phone and you'll be able to see it. Another thing that I noticed with my email was I uploaded a, a copyrighted video, well, most definitely one I'm trying to, and, and the, the um, copyrighted video and I kept uploading and I'm like this video is not copyrighted it's not copyrighted like I noticed I used this link come to find out it's my own intro also let me tell y'all this them TikTok TikTok connected to CapCut them intros are most definitely copyrighted now you know that <laughs> so but with your email being connected it shows you what song is copyrighted on your video now one thing I can say, I don't know if I got a late email that day or I did or didn't, I'm not sure. But what I do know is on one of my cap kit, I mean on one of my videos I recently uploaded and it said it was copyrighted, it did not show me what was copyrighted. But just, just keep your email connected. Um sometimes YouTube can be down. Also, that's another thing. If your video takes forever to upload it could be that YouTube is down. And what I do want to say is, please have patience with YouTube. Please have patience. Don't just have patience. If you're going to do YouTube, have patience. Have fun with it. Um, the advice that I got told was, don't go in and head on like, oh, I'm going to get this money and then get off of it. 
No. YouTube pay a lot of people bills. Social media pay a lot of people bills. So, yeah. This is it for this video. I really hope y'all liked it. Um, this is the most, I ain't gonna say professional, but this is the most good video I ever did. Because I will struggle a hundred million times over what I'm trying to say or get out. But this video turned out good versus another talking video i do like that's another reason why i don't do survey time because i'll be like um mm, i have to be like oh oh uh, this happened <laughs> yeah but make sure y'all be consistent and yeah i'm looking forward to supporting y'all y'all don't have to support me to get y'all support because at the end of the day i'll be bored and i'll be wanting to watch you too and if you're still good baby you're not gonna support me <laughs> baby now let me start playing <laughs> But make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back. You already know, just put your girl on fleet. I'm like, cool, I can do that, boo. What you want some shoes?